All right, today we're at WCB headquarters, and you know the whole world is on its ear right now because of the pandemic and COVID-19, and uh, just it's just a terrible thing. So we wanted to kind of get the pulse of the world and the horse-owning world, and so we we dug deep into our contacts, and who else did we get? But horse owner Helga is back to kind of give us the heartbeat of what the horse owners take on this whole COVID-19 deal is. Craig, it's so good to be back. You even lifted the restraining order. I know. It's amazing. I know. Well, we got we got social distancing, and I didn't know. But well, we're, we're within six feet apart. Uh, yeah. Well, you you invented social distancing with the restraining order. Yeah. Well, most people say it's either my grill or my body hygiene. I can't even tell the difference. <laughs> so, well, I am practicing safe measures. I'm wearing my gloves and my face mask because only real broads wear bandanas. So. Exactly, and then what's your shirt say? I can't read anymore. <laughs> My cataracts have gotten so extreme that I'm not even legally allowed to drive. Well, what, what, like, where, where are you working these days? Well, I work at this magical place called a vet clinic. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Oh, oh, oh. What do you got? What have you been doing there? Well, I'm the receptionist, but I can't read, so I got to do something <laughs> instead. So you're cleaning up dog shit. Well, they won't even let me do that. <laughs> Helga. <laughs> Helga, are you in the demographic? Well, seeing as I smoke, supposedly yes, but I'm gender neutral. So, and I also drink Dos Equis, and that, that is known to prevent it. Yeah, Dos Equis. If you could please sponsor us, that'd be great. Yeah, because we're not Corona. And, uh, well, yeah, being gender neutral, it's it's different. It, it, it absolves me of a lot of responsibilities, and I can really go out and enjoy myself now. Yeah, but didn't you like? Didn't you say they had you taken some sort of beaver tranquilizer? It's actually a horse tranquilizer. That's why I agreed to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, did it have like? Did it give you hot flashes or anything? Well, I mean, anytime I'm around a dog, I develop extreme hives. Um, I had a cat lick my inner ear lobe, and that didn't end well. I couldn't hear out of it. I still can't. I'm pretty sure it's a tumor. Ah, a tumor. Yes, I have three cataracts. I don't know where the third one is. That usually cataracts are on the eyes, aren't they? Well, I can't tell. I can't see it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, what? So, are you for the most part pretty healthy? I like to think so. The yeah. doctor says otherwise, though. So. Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. Well, do you? Uh, the whole horse tranquilizer. How do you, do you have to take it with like, like a shot or a pill? Well, it's kind of an insensitive question, Greg. It involves the index finger. And uh, afterwards, you need to use some toilet paper. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, but toilet paper, didn't you? You, you said there was something weird about toilet paper. You couldn't get it the other day. Well, right? I got slapped by heathen, but that's what I did time. Basically, I stick a pill up my ass. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's good. That it's good that you wanted to be kind of like... That's a little more discreet. We don't want to talk about that in public. No, this isn't public. This is just the internet. So Helga, when you have the farrier come out, you know, you gotta be isolated. You can't have like anybody there. You have to have social distancing. How do you handle that with your, your seven gonna be eight horses that you get worked on? How do you have the farrier come out when you can't be there? Well, First off, I wait until after it rains to call the farrier, and then I release them out into the paddock. That's a fancy word for pasture. Yeah. And then uh, I don't do anything. I mean, I pay him, right? He's supposed to go out there and, yeah. and catch him and yeah, just fetch him. Fetch Not him. even catch him, just fetch him. <laughs> fetch him. It's a fetching one here. <laughs> you, and, and like, have you had the same farrier for quite a while? You know, I go about one every six months. I don't understand you. Well, that's I pay catch. about three weeks late, and uh, I never actually catch my horses. Well, that would make your social isolating a little easier to handle, wouldn't it? Yes, but it is, uh, it's quite different being gender neutral, being socially isolated. I don't know who I can hang out with anymore. <laughs> well, what, have you been, you could date a farrier, maybe. You heathens. <laughs> I don't know about that. All right, Helga, so what, what's the worst part about this whole isolation thing? Well, I had to fight someone for a royal toilet paper. Like, I had shin guards and a mouth guard in, and this man, I mean a troglodyte, 
heathen looking caveman came up and just slapped me and took my toilet paper away. Wait, so, have you had a trouble? I, Cause I don't understand the whole toilet paper thing. Do you understand the toilet paper thing? Well, everyone else is getting it, so shouldn't I? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, have you done hoarding? Have you been hoarding things? Well, I've always been a hoarder. You have not seen my house. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you make your bathtub into a litter box? It's not a litter box. It's a kitty shitter. <laughs> Helga, have you been have you been cooking at home since you haven't been able to go out to your favorite haunts? Well, it's weird. This is the first time I've actually seen my kitchen counter in six years. <laughs> well, I, what do you, is that where you usually make your bran mash and all that stuff? Well, I like to sleep there. <laughs> so, like, it's kind of weird. I found some fuzzies laying around. I don't even know what a fuzzy is, but I found some. Fuzzy slippers? No, no like fuzzies. What? Fuzzy slippers. What's fuzzy? <laughs> Like, you know, little balls of fuzz. Oh, I can't tell them. Dust bunny. Dust bunny. Yeah, dust bunny. Yeah. It doesn't look like a bunny. I don't get it. <laughs> well, what, so what have you been making at home? I like to stick to the finer things in life, like uh, Kraft mac and cheese and, uh, well, you know. Ramen noodles? Yeah, but you got to add some spaghetti sauce in there so it makes you look like a crazy broad. <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. I'm going to break out knives now. All right, so what happens if this persists? I mean, how are you gonna pay for all your animals and stuff like that and your, your quality way of life if the, this uh, quarantine and the stay at home thing stays intact? What are you gonna do? Why well, I, I work from home. I'm a, I, uh, I- I thought you worked at the vet clinic. Well, it's connected to the vet clinic. <laughs> oh, like you have like, what are you, you have horse psychiatrist or what? Well, I, I think of myself as a horse whisperer. So, oh, but, um, no, we're considered essential at the vet clinic. We're animal care. Yeah, exactly. So, so you think that no matter what, you'll probably be doing all this? Well, it's what I was born to do, so yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, you know, I've noticed that you've cut down your cussing quite a bit since the last time I seen you. Oh, fuck, it's getting me in trouble. <laughs> well, I mean, I think that, you know, you, you're probably a five-star client as far as that horseshoers are looking for work and I, you know just trying to give people pointers on how to how to become more adapt to the the, the farrier world and the farrier world get more adapt to the horse owner well I think there's always going to be a divide because well the horse owner is superior so but I think the one thing that farriers can do is just you know kind of suck it up and get through it so Helga, that a lot of talk, a lot of BS. You get on Facebook, and there's a lot of people saying like this. This thing is a, a government uh, hyped up deal. What do you think to that? I don't know about that because I I'm not of the intellectual variety. But man, is it good to see our our fine fine man of a president, Donald Trump, up there. That comb over could top off his head and choke me for all I can. <laughs> So, I saw him at a rally one time and I was like, Donald, my nipples are down here. <laughs> it's like playing hopscotch with my belly button. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're just so seductive, aren't you? Oh, I like to think I am. Wrinkles <laughs> just add more to grab on to. <laughs> well, so you think, that, you think that Trump's a hottie? Oh my God. If Agent Orange was a man, he'd be here. <laughs> so Helga, like, you know, we've talked about a lot, but what... If you could tell people any kind of message to get through this and to get on the other side of this, what would you tell them? So I have uh, four encompassing tips. Oh, and The first one That's is... That's a big word, encompass. I don't even know what it means. <laughs> the first one is, wash your damn hands, you heathens. Yeah. The second one is, uh, I know this is harder for the younger crowd, especially with Facebook out there. And go outside, get some fresh air, get it in your lungs. <laughs> exactly. And, uh... Number three is, uh, number three. <laughs> What's number three? What was number three? <laughs> oh, well, no, take a shower. Uh, yeah, take a shower. If you got a braid your armpit hair, braid your armpit hair, <laughs> you know, get in there. And number four is, this is a, I, this is a personal favorite of mine, is cat shit has never been proven to cause anything. A little bit in your bowl of cereal, your porridge, <laughs> even a little bit of flaked in your scrambled eggs. It's good for the immune system. <laughs> 
I, you know, I, I, I can't say that I could say yes or no to that. So. Well, that's why I got my kitty shit in the doubles in the pantry. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, man, I'll tell I'm, you what. I'm gender neutral. I, <laughs> well, I'm glad you came. Are you going to come on the show again some other time? Well, I mean, as long as it's respecting you want to stay up, I'll be fine. Yeah, well, I did like hanging out in your tree. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. You had a lot of good pictures, and the 750 texts I got were kind of weird. 750 of those are beginning numbers. <laughs> All right, everybody. We just want to keep it light. Keep it simple. We're going to get on the other side of this. Make sure to stay safe. And most of all, we're all in this together, so stay kind to one another. Be good. <laughs>